For the beginning turkey hunter, I would just simply say that uh, um, you you're you were uh, um, you're 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 assaulted <laughs> you're assaulted uh, uh, by all of the call manufacturers and the and the the shiny paper magazines and and the Outdoor Channel and all of the modern uh, all of the modern advertisements for you must have uh, the best one of each one of these calls and you must have decoys and you must have a certain camo and you must have all of the stuff. Well, um, I'm I'm guilty. I'm a I'm a traditionalist. Um, all of this uh, stuff that I have, this this little array of of traditional uh, friction type friction and tube type calls uh, that I'm going to briefly discuss with you today, uh, all fit in my turkey vest, which is a fanny pack, uh, which contains uh, everything that you're going to see here, some extra rubber bands and uh, pins and and candy in case you have a stretchy throat and some chewing gum, um, maybe a small water couple of extra shells that's it fits in a fits in a fanny pack so whatever kind of arrangement for for toting your stuff that you feel comfortable with whatever kind of uh, what, whatever kind of collar that you're most comfortable with making a reasonable facsimile of a of a plain yelp or a, or a plain cluck basically what's needed to kill a to kill a wild turkey gobbler with call a turkey up in the spring and kill it that's what you should use um, I'll just go through several items here First, we'll talk about, uh, and again, I'm a traditionalist. These are going to be just a small selection of tube type calls and friction type calls, but uh, a small uh, homemade wing bone tube type call. This is the actual, uh, this is the radius. This is a small bone out of a, out of a wild turkey, a wild turkey wing bone, married to a uh, to a rifle cartridge, an empty rifle cartridge, and this is a very high pitched call. Uh, sometimes it works when something else doesn't. It's very good for clucking and yelping at low volumes and it sounds something like this. <laughs> plain cluck, plain yelp. <laughs> plain cluck and plain yelp of a wild turkey. It's very high pitched, it's a high volume, can be very effective at times when other calls won't. Next is a, is a uh, typical wing bone that you may see. This is made out of a jake, a, a, a juvenile gobbler, again the radius and the ulna, little bone, middle sized bone out of the wing, the middle section of the wing between the, between the wrist and the elbow, if you will, on the bird. And uh, this, this call is a very high volume call. Again, uh, um, this, this can be used to make the, the plain cluck and the plain yelp of a wild turkey hen. Uh, this can also be used uh, for fall calling as well as spring calling. Uh, and a lot of times even a traditional fall call, the, the kiki run, the kiki or kiki run of a young, of a young turkey, uh, a lot of times you'll hear immature gobblers do this um, uh, and mature gobblers will respond to it as well. So, Let's, let's first do a, just a sample of a plain cluck on this little bit different wing bone. And then a plain yelp. Five, six, seven, eight notes. That's a high volume call. Um, again, turkeys will respond to different calls at different times, sometimes better with a slate, a, a box call, a, a mouth diaphragm, which I do not happen to own one of, wing bone. Let's, let's demonstrate a little, if I can, a little, a little fall call, a little kiki run, kiki run of a, of a, of a young turkey in the fall. Sometimes mature gobblers will respond to that in the spring when nothing else works, even um, including stopping calling. There's, there's uh, such a thing as calling a turkey too much, with, and a, a lot of you may experience that. Let's go to a, let's go to a, a traditional slate. This is a, this is a wooden slate, a wooden, a wooden rectangular box on a, 
on a uh, on a piece of slate. This is about an eighth of an inch, or actually about a sixteenth of an inch. And this is a corn cob striker. I'm not sure what this wood is, but this this will make the the this is very 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 adept at, at purring. Quietly purring, clucking. Uh, tree, a very soft tree yelp. Purring, everything's okay. Cluck. Also, some loud cutting sometimes get Galber excited. Loud cutting. Okay, and then uh, probably, probably uh, some of the most familiar uh, is just the uh, cedar box call. This particular box call is made by a gentleman uh, who's no longer with us, Mr. Harry Snowden. This is made in uh, on the first of the first of February of 2000. This is a handmade call made out of walnut, maple, and butternut hickory. Uh, walnut, maple, and butternut hickory. Small box fits in your fits in your uh, pocket real well. Again, uh, cluck. In the plain yelp of a wild turkey hen. Notice the double syllable, that kelk, 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 double syllable that's so typical of hens. Cluck. And then a plain yelp. No, no pressure applied here either. Then, uh, then this is uh, probably my, probably my favorite call. This is given to me by a late friend and turkey hunting mentor of mine from uh, from Arkansas. This is a this is an old uh, Birmingham, Alabama made back in the days of uh, old man Mike Lynch, Mr. Mike Lynch, the late Mike Lynch. Uh, who was the original proprietor of ML Lynch Turkey Call Company, and uh, this is uh, this is one of the ones that says uh, Edgewood Boulevard in Birmingham, Nine, Alabama. But it's uh, it's just it's just old and seasoned and raspy and makes for a good cluck and a and a yelp that gobblers sometimes can't resist. That's about all you need to kill a wild turkey if he's ready to come.